Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nikash Afzal back with another video. So in this video, uh, we will talk about uh, Marmosat Tool Pack 3. So uh, what I find, why I make this video for Marmosat? Because uh, many of my video viewers say ask about Octane. So I know Octane is a powerful plugin, but there is a too hard to crack that software. But we are trying on this. But for what I think about Marmosat I hope this is a maybe I'm wrong or I'm right so in my thought it's a, a tool bag 3 is the alternative of octane render so why I say that so one of uh, first of all this is a awesome this is a you get fast rendering real time rendering so I will show you some example which I render uh, just only in little times or oh, as you can see here there is a Chevrolet car so it just take a maybe 30 second for rendering this kind of stuff but it's not a high resolution I will show you and other examples oh sorry this one this is without ambient occlusion. and this is a speaker so as you can see this is a high res resolution is take just a it's just take round about maybe uh, if I'm not wrong it's take maybe 30 second uh, th <coughs> sorry 30 or 45 seconds so that's amazing if you try to render this kind of uh, uh, quality in Sanma 4D or 3ds max it's maybe take uh, uh, some kind of one minute or more than one minute it's depend on your computer capability so take a look on another example so this is with uh, global inu uh, illumination so as you can see this is a high resolution textured so this is just a simple material a uh, little glossy black and glossy white and that's it not any fancy thing so let's take a look at another thing this one this is a rock so this is uh, this texture created by bitmap to material converter so it's looking great uh, as you can see this is a awesome depth of field so it's just take a uh, maybe uh, not more than one minute so as you can see this is a uh, AK-47 so this texture done by Quixel Studio in Adobe Photoshop so as you can see it's a highly look a realistic look AK-47 let let me show you so what I mean why I say that take a look so open this so we have a AK-47 model so here we go 1A so there is our project there is a simple AK-47 so let's see apply some texture on it uh, we have some texture normal map here is normal map sorry as you can see it's a pretty fast so it's not stuck or something you it's a final result of it's not a final result of rendering you increase a viewport resolution here like this so so as you can see it's little bit it's gonna little bit slow but we don't need this we just change it to uh, one one so so it's looking great so add some diffuse map like albedo so as you can see add specular maps there we go so add some ambient occlusion map here yeah. oh sorry this one so so it's not looking good but we need to change a sky preset so if we go there and change it to desert or this glacier there is a you can use default so it's looking good so as you can see here so it's
it's a really high texture gun and you can render it in so you can change the setting like add glossiness as you can see I love it because it's too fast so if you try to render it like we just change it to a blur sky we just keep it dark and as you can see if we add local reflection go in render and add local diffraction so it's get reflection from the entire scene if there is anything reflective or any object except this gun so there is a GI global illumination this is the awesome effect but it's make it slow so let's try to render this all gun so so we just go here first ch uh, check the setting of capture we just change the resolution to 38 40 you can add custom resolution also just click on here let's see how long it's take it's a 512 so let's see how it's take image and open let's see how it's take how long it's take to render not a one minute I hope it's only 30 seconds as you can see it's a highly textured gun so but it's not just gone camera so we just changed this is the actual look so there is a, a tune map so you can increase exposure or decrease contrast saturation contrast center saturation we just add sharpen and sharpen for more realistic look add bloom brightness as you can see so just try to render this one and take a look this is 513 so let's see how it's lo how long it's take not a one minute as you can see this is a highly textured and I love this uh, software. I don't know what I need your feedback under uh, comment below. Please comment below. I need your feedback about on this software. Let's take a look at another example of this. So, we just remove this one. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. So, this is some kind of de with depth of field and global illumination speakers so but it's not a uh, this is without global illumination uh, without yeah this is without global illumination result so it's just take a maybe one minute or less than one minute so this is with global illumination as you can see this is a highly textured look it's look real stick if you say to someone I take this photo with my camera so it's actually I use some kind of depth of field with uh, in this so uh, depth of field and global illumination some kind of local reflections like this so this is also a, and this is also a texture done by Quixel uh, in Photoshop so let's take a look on this so open our object I have here Dudo helmet so I can download this file from internet so as you can see this is a simple mesh here let's apply our uh, material on it so first we apply normal map so as you can see let's give you a cool look at the roughness here there we go where is gloss map here we go and just click on inward 
so albedo as our albedo specularity as our specular map and one more one of my best ambient occlusion map here we go so as you can see it's looking not looking good so what we just need to change our sky environment so this is a here some preset so I use this one or this one or let's try something else this one this one okay that's looking great that's looking great we go through with this so let's change little bit settings here so uh, as you can see we increase and decrease glossiness so gloss here so just change the gloss so it's looking great and as backdrop as a blurred sky just take it down so as you can see it's give you a cool look so just take down a instancy of specularity so I hope I love this stuff I don't know it's a quick real time rendering here and it's give me a cool stuff you can do awesome things in the software you can also import a uh, Sanma 4D full animation here so you just create a new material and take your time for creating a material and there is some light you can add fog here as you can see change the distance but fog work with the um, more than one object so as you can see here you can use depth of field I will show you so here we go if I'm not wrong so we change our normal map for a minute there is bump as you can see it's giving more roughness on it but we are good with the with normal map so, so let's add some de depth of field just go in main camera go in focus and save this is uh, main rendering look so we just change enable depth of field so you can change acting with a focused distance as you can see here is a beautiful depth we just change it we can change the setting so near So as you can see it's give you a more realistic look and let's try to render this one go in capture settings so uh, change the size to full full and go back in render and enable global illumination and it makes slow your all PC as you can see it's just change the brightness of global illumination that's looking great just now go and capture it's make a slow okay and just image and open let's take a look how long it's take it's 520 now if we click on it let's see how long it's take
take a long time because of uh, global illumination that's why so it's a without global illumination so this take just a one minute and there is some axe it's not looking good it's just a regular axe this is with global illumination so this is few example I try so I hope you like this video so let's take a look why it's not it's just take little time it's 521 now so five twenty two it's take more than maybe my computer is not too good so I need to upgrade my computer so five twenty maybe my I use also a recorder so that's why it's divide so it's make my own PC slow but it's an awesome rendering platform so if you have a good GPU so basically it's a GPU based uh, rendering software like obtain render so I hope you like this video subscribe my channel and bye bye oh at least it's done so as you can see it's a highly textured so bye bye I hope you like this video so let me know about your uh, suggestion on this software so what do you think about this uh, rendering software let me know I hope you like this video subscribe my channel bye bye